Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at how you can join attribute table to your data. You know, let's say you've created a database because one very important feature about um, JS, or let's say one great advantage of JS over CAD is that we can actually create a database and we can perform some form of query, maybe spatial query or whatever the case is, and maybe um, analysis as well. Yeah. So let's say you've created a database and you want to update that database. So let's say you have um, a database that has maybe two or three fields. I just don't want to be specific or maybe give an instance. And you want to add maybe three to four to five more fields, you know, and you are doing them manually. It might at times take your time and you are prone to making mistakes. So let's see what we mean by that. We are going to import um, a particular ship file. Now let's try to import that ship file now. So we come to layer, we go to add layer, add vector layer, right? Good. Good. So under the data source manager for vector data, we browse for our vector data, right? All right. Let's try to bring in the state boundaries of Nigeria, like the different states. So I, I believe this second um, chip file contains those um, state boundaries. So we open, we add, and then we close. Good. So we have the what we have the state boundaries of Nigeria, and by the time we come to our attribute table. We can see the different states. Yeah, name underscore one. That's actually the that let's call that the primary field. That's the field that describes the different states, right? Good. Now let's say you have a database like this, and you want to update the database. So we have the states from our attribute table. Where is our attribute? Good. Good. We have the states. However, we don't know their capital, we don't know their we don't know the area, we don't know the governors, we don't know some other information about different states. So let's say you want to add those information and you want to do them manually. You can actually come to what um toggle editing to start editing. Then you maybe you want to add um, a new field, right? So you click on that and let's say you say this um, field is for the let's let's call it the state capital, right? So you call this the capital, then sorry, you call this the capital, and then perhaps you what type of um, data is it? We know that it's a text, then maybe the length, let's increase it to 50 so we don't make a mistake, and some other stuff. So you add this field, right? Good. You come up again, you create another field for let's say the governors, and you do that, then you start imputing them manually. You know, this might take your time you are even prone to maybe making some mistake so it's always better or it's best that you have it somewhere and you are trying to join it with this your attribute table and that's what we are going to show to you today good so we are now going to show you where we've actually arranged some of the other information we want to work we want to attach to this particular attribute table. All right, we have our new attribute information. Let's say, yeah, we have our new attribute table where we have the, the states, the different states. We have their capital, we have the area, the governor, the number of local governments, and the as case may be. You know, this is just an example. You might have some real life data and you would have some real life attributes which you would want to what, attach to your attribute table. So when you have a situation like that, this is how you go about it. When you have your file, maybe definitely in Excel, you try and save it as what a CSV file, right? So let's say you have this, it has already been saved. So we are just going to show you how you can save it as CSV if possible. So you come on that file, you go to save as. Good. So we are working on a folder called join. So when you just give it a file name, you come under save as type, then you select what command delimited, right? That's the CSV. Upon doing that, you can decide to save. But since we've saved this, we won't go about saving it again. So when you have your data in Excel, as we've shown you now, that's how you save that CSV. So upon saving it as CSV, you can now attach, or maybe you can now add this particular file, 
with all of the attributes as it is to what to your attributive longitudes and subsequently join it with the other attribute with the other information you already have on your maybe on your layer panel so now let's show you how you do that good so now let's come back to the attribute table here yeah? we have different fields we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we have nine fields already and of all of the fields we don't have where we have the state capital we don't have the area of different states we don't have the, the field for the governors and the rest of that so that's what we want to add to our what's to our attribute table and how do we do that the first thing is that you need to import that csv file that you've saved that csv file is saved on excel you need to what you need to import it so you come to layer then you go to what add layer then under add layer you go to what add the limited text layer right good so now you are under the data source manager for what the delimited text layer now you try to browse to navigate to wherever you would have saved that your csv file so we are on the folder join that's where we saved it and we have what state underscore info so we select and we open now some important things you need to notice that the file type is what csv so you ensure that csv is checked then we don't have any other information to maybe any other settings to make the record and field options they are all okay then the first record has field name that's this the first record here has what has the field name right so it's very important because it will be used subsequently then the geometry type the geometry type is no geometry because it's not actually a point coordinate they are just some attributes right good then layer settings you don't need anything there so you do what you add and you close so we already have what the state info here this is it on our attribute table we have the state the state capital the area the governor the number of local governments yours as we have said earlier might be what some real information maybe some real life information or some real life attribute we are just using this word as an example so let's say you have something like this already the next thing is you come to this layer which is the primary layer you from that you want to join the other attribute to then you right click and you go to what you go to properties so under the properties you come to what you come to join you come to joins right joins then at the bottom left sorry yeah towards the bottom left you can see three icons you can see the add you can see the remove and then you can see the edit so you click on what you click on add it means you want to what add new join you click on that then you see the word the add join window come up the add join window come up now the join layer which is what layer do you want to join definitely the state underscore info and then the join field the join field simply means from that your state underscore info you know you have different columns which of the columns you want to use to join so let's use the state because that's like um, the primary should we call it the primary column there because the the state there shows the different states and subsequently the other columns shows the different information of those different states right then let's still keep our target field now the target field when you come under the target field from the the primary layer which is the, the layer for the state boundaries we have the name underscore one as the field or maybe yeah as a field that showed the different the names of the states so we just choose that as what as our target field and we say okay upon saying okay we can see that we already have joined the particular word we the new join let's just say that we actually add the new join so we apply and we say what okay now upon coming back to the attribute table of that state boundaries layer open attribute table we can see that it has been joined are we together we can see that it has been joined so we have what the state capital which is this abia umoya adamawa yola kwaibom you then we also have the other information which includes uh, the area we also have the other information which includes what the governor and then what's the other information we need and then we also have the other one which includes what the number of what the number of local government so this is how you do what this is how you join the attributes to this is how you join attribute information to what the attribute table this is how you join information to what attribute table now this particular layer you see here is like a scratch layer it's not saved if you per adventure close your QGIS or maybe if you remove this layer you won't find it on this particular layer you see here 
it has just been joined temporarily so when you want to join it permanently you will have to export it right you'll have to export it so when you export it to maybe you export it as a new chip file right then you can now see the new attribute joined to that new chip file so you right click on that particular layer you come to export and you say what save features as right good now under the save vector layer as window you ensure you select an s3 chip file right ensure you select s3 chip file then you try to identify maybe you give it the file name so you come to browse and you navigate to the folder you want to work on good so we are on the folder we are working on which is joint so let's just call this um, state info right this is not state we have this as state and then let's call this um, state info right good let's call this state info let's call this um, QGIS good state info QGIS so it's actually um, a switch shape file you might not be able to change that so you save now the CRS is WJ64 just the general one and you don't need to make any other settings for now um, these um, other field types just continue the geometry will be automatically sorted out and you just say what okay good so now as you've seen it like this if you close your window maybe if you restart your QGIS and you want to work on this particular um, file again maybe at this particular layer you will definitely see the word you definitely see the attribute table in it however if it is on this other formal layer on which we joined it you might not see it again when you close the window so we are going to close we are going to close this project this card good then we add what we add that our ship file again to confirm what we've done so we come back to this good so this is the folder right State info QGIS, we add and we close. Then upon coming back to your attribute table, good. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. So we have the other information on what we have the other information on our attribute table. So with this, you can decide to start maybe populating them or maybe if they're already populated, because definitely you would have had some other information or some other data on this word you would have had some other data on this attribute and then you would have seen that your, your database has been updated so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem where you can attach where you can join yeah where you can maybe update sorry where you can join let's use that where you can join what some other information to what your attribute table so we are going to see you on our next class until then Ensure you keep being good at what you're doing and um, have a nice time. Bye.